Greetings, Manavananian, Sivra Supermanium, is Station Master West Green with Station Master's dog, Ruby. Yes. Ruby, say hello, Ruby. Yes, I'm here, Supermanium. <laughs> I'm mad. I am. Uh, anyway, I haven't done a video for a while and I thought I'll do one. I don't know why. So, what am I up to? Here, this is a um, chassis or for a Gresley A3 Pacific uh, Commonal Garden, um, uh, what do I call it? Great Northern Coal Rail Tender. And uh, I'm building this. And it's got these little, I've got one, look, I'll show you. Here's one I've done earlier. Here's one I've done earlier, right? And it's got these compensation beams so that these can rock up and down. And it's got, this is got one on each side and it's split in the middle, right? Um, anyway, normally, I say normally, you'll find that uh, uh, the axles running bearings, like top hat bearings or whatever they call them, or anyway, call them what you like. But, uh, in this finny kit, they don't. There's just holes there, and all the weight is borne by these these rocking beams, and it allows the wheels to move. Fine. This one here is double. Hang on, where is it? That's two together. These are single. Now, what I've just I'll show you what I've just done. I thought, just from an engineering point of view, I will solder on. I should have done this before. Put these in, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll double up the brass so it's got a double the bearing surface here. Uh, whether, I, whether it's necessary or not, I don't know, but I suppose it's a bit Brunellian, you know, a bit over-engineered, perhaps. Anyway, so how do I do all this sort of stuff? Well, I've got, you know, I've got a solder. And I've got a few soldering irons in my armament here. I've got this uh, up the top there, I've got a... Uh, it's a 45 watt temperature controlled iron, which has got two tips in it, a conical and a little chisel, three mil chisel bit. Uh, and then I've got this one. This is an El Cheapo made in China job. It's a 100 watt, 50 watt, and it's got two, you can solder anything with this. I mean, it's got a nickname. I call it Mother. M-U-V-V-E-R, Mother. And you know, it's a mother, you know, whatever. Enough, enough. So down here I've got this other box of tricks. This is called a resistance soldering unit, an RSU. And it's got, basically it's on the back, it's got an on-off switch. It's got one control in the middle, two wires. These are, this is AC, so it doesn't matter which way you get these round. Doesn't matter. Um, and so there's that. And on the floor, there's a foot switch. 240 comes down there so that you operate it with your like that just like that now I use this for certain things and not for others some people once they get one arm they, they try and use it for everything I'm I'm not like that I tend to use the best tool for the job but when you're soldering things like uh, uh, overlays these are really good uh, the other reason is look it doesn't get hot until you press the foot switch and it works by resistance, a high current and resistance because uh, the copper, uh, sorry, the carbon rod's got lots of resistance and when you pass a current through a resistance you get a voltage drop and it also generates a lot of heat which is due to the electrons bumping into one another and it generates a lot of heat. That's a bit of a theory but anyway, enough said about that. So I thought I'd demonstrate how it works and show you what's inside. Uh, I'll show you what's inside first. So in this, so you've seen what I've got. I've got that. I've got this plate. It's like earthed, right? Or it's not earth to earth, but it's earth as far as that's concerned. One side. And uh, if I turn this on, hang on, I'll just show you quickly. There's nothing on here. 
Oh, sorry about this. When I turn this on, can you see that? If I turn that voltage up enough, that will glow. And that's quite warm now, but it'll cool down very quick. So what's inside this box, you may well ask. Well, I can tell you, not much. There's only one electronic component in it, and that's a light dimmer. So I'm gonna go through the circuit with you. So here's me pointer, an old needle file. I actually use that for scraping stuff. Funny about this, you can't take these on a plane. <laughs> so this is called an RSU, a resistance soldering unit. And it produces heat by resistance, which is, well, even normal soldering irons do that. So here, what you see in this piece of paper, that is what's inside that box there. That's it. There's, there's, your, there's your mains lead. There's a fuse and there's an off switch, which is on the back of the unit. There's a light dimmer. Then it, the output of a light dimmer, as you know, the light dimmer varies the output voltage. So you can have 240 volts down to whatever. Right, so that's a, that's a primary core, 240 volts. This is a, this transformer's got two secondaries of six volts each. So you could actually wire those in series and get 12 volts out. But I want high current, so, and I don't want high voltage. So these, a wide in series, uh, sorry, a wide in parallel. So that side there goes to that side there, and this side goes to that way. So I've got six volts, but I've got it can produce double the current. Obviously, one thing's for certain: you don't want to swap these around, so it'll be out of phase, and you'll you'll blow your transformer up, or blow the fuse, or do something. So that's inside the box, and by varying that voltage there, you vary the output. I've measured this, you can get, the maximum is six volts. Right, now, so let's look at what's outside the box. Outside the box, it, I would imagine it's a neutral, comes down there, goes through your foot switch, which is on the floor. So if you turn that on, by turning this on, this energizes this core. There's two probes, one's grounded to that steel plate, and the other goes to a probe, which has got the carbon rod. So here we got it. There's the plate. And there is the probe and the carbon rod. This is a four millimeter gouging rod. Uh, for some reason, they're hard to get here in Australia. So I've got these ones. Eileen's Emporium sells four mil ones. So I bought some. I've got down here. Somewhere I had them. Look at that. So I think I've got a dozen in there or ten, something like that. And you cut them in half and put them in there. And then using a um, pencil sharpener, you just sharpen up the end. So I'm going to demonstrate it now. So just before I started this, I dropped the, I dropped the uh, probe or it hit the deck. And being um, carbon, you can imagine this is... It broke, it snapped easy. So I had to, uh, this is fairly long inside the probe, so I had to undo it and put another, t uh, and sharpen it up with a pencil. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to do this, this is solder paste. So what I'm going to do, if you can see, I'm gonna put some solder paste on there. Sorry about my camera. Right. So I put solder paste on the on there, and I'm now going to get this little piece of brass. Oh, I won't I won't video it when I put it on, but I'll put it on and show you. I'm going to line it up as best I can with the bottom. If it's overlapping in bit, it doesn't matter. Probably a bit better because I'll then file it off so it's smooth. So, I've put that up as solder paste, that grey stuff is in between this and this is on the top. This is where you've got to be a bit careful because I've got to find a foot switch and I've just got to put it on and hope it doesn't move. Right, I'm 
I'm going to start it now. Oh, it's moved a bit. Right up the voltage a bit. So I'll just turn it up. Give it more oomph. Sizzling now. You can see the smoke. That's a solder. Let it cool down before I move it off. That's still warm, but I can just put it there. You can see the solder going out the side. There you go, have it. So there you have it. You see I put that piece on, it's just doubled the area where the axle is going to bear on. So it's just a bit more load bearing uh, on the axle. So that's all I'm done. I've done. That's it basically. Thanks for watching. If you like, leave a comment, subscribe, give us a like and all that sort of jazz. It's good night. It's goodbye from me and my beloved Mr. Seaver Supermanium. Thanks for watching. And of course, Ruby.